YouTube, what is up? Josh here with JCS Customs. First off, I want to thank y'all for clicking the video and watching today. And if you haven't already, you see my car down there in the corner of the screen, go smash the subscribe button before it gets across the screen. If not, then you'll be second place and nobody likes that. And hey, while you're at it, if you like cars, just, you know, if you like YouTube in general, see that like button, go smash the like button as well. That is greatly appreciated. I say that a lot, but you know, it is. So for today's video, we are gonna be taking some decibel readings around the Borla Attack exhaust. I had somebody ask me how loud it was. I rated it probably an eight or nine out of 10. It's pretty loud. Unfortunately, I do not have a way to stick it to the side of the car and actually take the car down the road. That would be, um, you know, my phone would be destroyed. So I'm not doing that. The screen's already cracked and I don't wanna make that any worse. So we're gonna be using an app called Decibel X. I've done a lot of research the past few evenings and it's pretty much the best app I can find for recording decibel levels. It gives you an average and a peak. And um, for you noise people out there, I say that because I'm actually a noise engineer. Um, it actually gives you options for A-weighted, C-weighted, and Z-weighted. Um, we're gonna be using A-weighted because that is what closely reflects human hearing. Because I wanna know the noise coming out of the immediate tips of the exhaust, we're gonna do the recordings about a foot or less away from the exhaust on the sides and directly behind it. Um, so as far as what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a cold start. We're gonna get that in. We're gonna try the camera option on Decibel X. Um, we're gonna do that option. And then I'm gonna show the actual graph recordings with the decibels at the bottom for um, the side and directly behind the exhaust. And I'm gonna do some revs for those and see how high I can get. All right, so as you can see, the camera option there, um, it's a little bit dulled down compared to the rest of the app they're gonna be using for the other test. But I wanted to show y'all what it looks like. Um, so you can see the max was about 93 and the peak was about 98. Now just to let you know, OSHA requires hearing protection for anything over 85 decibels. So just the cold start, you supposedly supposed to have hearing protection. So that pretty much shows you how loud that was. So we're actually going to do the other test now. Now I do have to say my environment does affect the numbers a little bit. I'm in a garage which has a lot of um, reverb in it. So that will affect the results a little bit. I can pull it out in the driveway and do these results again. Obviously not the cold start because it won't be a true cold start after that. But um, I'll, you know, I'll do that. We'll do the test in here and then go out in the driveway and do it that way and see the difference, how much the, uh, the area here contributed to the noise. All right, so this is the Decibel X app I was talking about. Just gonna go through what it shows real quick. So right here, you got basically what this noise reading here is equivalent to, like a quiet street, quiet home. Um, so here you have your graphs. You have a few options. Let's go this way. So you got your noise waves here. Some other, this is pretty cool. And just another representation of this. So pretty much it gives you an average, the current reading at that time and a max. So you can reset your settings here and then you can actually download the data. It'll go here and you can save it as whatever file name you want. And that's actually what you're gonna see here in a second with what I did with the revs. So um, we'll go ahead and show the camera option real quick. The camera option you've seen earlier, so you can see it pointing at the wall. You got different overlays and you have different filters on here as well. As far as you got a heat map up here and um, some other options. Some's only available during premium, but yeah, it's pretty cool. If I go back, I think it's going to show an ad, but yeah.
All right, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, feel free to go check out the rest of my videos on my channel. As you can see, I got a ton. I think I'm approaching 80 videos now doing stuff to the car. So I appreciate y'all's support. Also, if you haven't already, feel free to go check out my Instagram. Uh, I love the pointy thing, but you can see it there. And, um, you know, I post all the time about the car on there as well. And like always, I appreciate y'all watching. This video is a little bit different than some of my normal videos, but you know, it's good to branch out every now and then. So I ask that you please hit the subscribe. If you missed it earlier in the beginning of the video, please hit the subscribe and like button below. And um, hey, go ahead and leave a comment too. That'd be greatly appreciated. Until next time, YouTube, peace out.